Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. I plan on playing the entire Crash series. Um, I've never played it before when I was younger. I actually started out on Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped before I went to Crash Team Racing. So playing the first Crash Bandicoot game is actually going to be a bit of a experience that I never had, which is also a bit exciting for me as well. So without further ado, this is the intro to Crash Bandicoot the first game in the series. Although it has been remastered, the graphics are completely different from when it was on PlayStation 1. I am playing this on PlayStation 4, and hopefully when the new PS5 comes out, I can play it on that as well. Failure again! Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot. All right, and here we go on the first stage of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Right now, this is Insanity Beach, which is our first stage we will be going through. So, as you can see, Crash just washed up off the beach from leaving Cortex's lair. Now, here, basically, every box that you see is gonna have something different in it. The question mark boxes can have Wampa fruit, which is the fruit you see right here. Those really opened up crates that you see me jumping on. In order to get that fruit, you really have to jump on it instead of cracking it, because if you crack it, then you're gonna lose out on getting that fruit. Now, also, just a quick tip, but as you saw, that was the action buttons for this game. For those of you that are playing this on Xbox, just so you know, this is PlayStation. Um, as you can see, another box here, which is just for extra jumping. And going on, just a quick little tip, the Aku Mask. The Aku Aku Mask. So, pretty much, this mask allows you, like, it's basically a extra shield. So what you do is anytime you get those, uh, if you ever hit an enemy, then pretty much you would be protected. Now, the more you stack those up, there's so many throughout the stages, so the more you stack up, the more chances you can get of surviving an attack from an enemy or an obstacle sometimes, but if you stack three of them, which we are about to see what happens right here, pretty much you go into a invincibility mode. And basically what that is, is just you can run into any enemy or obstacle and that's basically like the gist of it. Now, I have to admit this thing has its limitations. It does not make you immortal. You can still die in this game, unfortunately, as you just saw. Uh, that was by my own fault. I misjudged the jump. But going on through the game, uh, basically, certain enemies have to like be hit certain ways. As you can see, these turtles here, you have to jump on them first, and then you can take them out. Because if you just hit them, then you're going to die. This is one of those like games back in the 90s where if you got hit once, then that was it. But they made up for it with the easiness of getting extra lives. So as you can see here, um, I just wanted to point out, I am a very cautious gamer. So if you see like just there are times I'm doing that, just understand that is why uh, I don't try to do that intentionally that just happens it happens all the time i am definitely one of those people that have to pay attention or have to be extra careful when it comes to gaming period no matter what game i'm playing now as you can see uh we're just going over to collect some more boxes 
Um, as you also see that there is another box right there. This is one of those like specialty boxes. So pretty much whenever you hit these, uh, they always create something different. And I just die again because I'm stupid. But going back to the exclamation mark box. So pretty much with that box, um, if you were to hit that, um, it, as you saw, projected all those other boxes out and you have to hit all of those other boxes and that's very important because you want to try and get as many boxes as you can from each stage. You will see here uh, in a bit, pretty much. And I'm going to go back for my second attempt on this because I'm not a quitter. Some people might be, but here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we made it. And we gotta get the other three. So since I died before, after that checkpoint, I gotta go back and get some boxes from over here. And as you can see, this is going to be a quick notion as to why those Aku masks are very important. See? Turtle ran into me, and I lost the Aku mask. But if I had a second one stacked up on it, then I would still be stuck with one. But if I didn't have any, then I would have to start back over from that checkpoint, and that would be very upsetting. And also, so if you collect all crates in each stage, you get that little diamond ruby gem whatever you just saw and at the end of the stage he does this little dance if you get a perfect score which is just you getting all the diamonds or gems boxes crates and that's gonna be it for this stage i just want to say thank you guys very much for tuning in on my let's play of crash bandicoot and i will see you guys for the next stage